back on board the Chitty. We set sail again for Dhaka. The boundary between water and land is blurry in Bangladesh. Almost the entire country is just a few metres above an already rising sea level. The main reason why global climate change threatens Bangladesh more than any other country in the world. One thing you really do see immediately about certainly this area, but I know Bangladesh generally, is you can see there's no rocks by the edge of the river. It's just pure mud. And because it's mud, the land's not only at risk from annual floods and tropical cyclones, it's also constantly being eroded by the huge rivers. Well, you can see the, the bank is getting ready to collapse. Hang on, what are these white bags here? They're trying to stop the erosion. You can see they're putting the bags there. Oh my God, they're using them. These are sand, they're using them as sandbags. Oh my God, look, they're chucking them into the, into the water the edge there to try and save the land. We've got to stop. Can we, is there any way we yes, can, yes, can stop yes, around we here? Can stop here. Look, there's another one going there. Desperately trying to shore up the riverbank. Look, it's falling away right, right now, right as we're approaching. This whole bank here is now is now really going and they're, they're working faster and faster because this is their land they're going to lose. I can't see how they're going to save this. What was that? That's another big chunk. Oh my god! Who here lives close to the edge? Who's worried that they're going to lose their, lose their home? He. So this, this gentleman here, is, where, where does he live? Can we ask him? Just this one. The river has destroyed all our crops and our land. It's taken the food from our mouths. As more ballast arrived for sandbags, locals told us that in the past fortnight, the river had eaten 500 yards into their village. In the past four years, it's taken 2,000 homes in this community alone. This was the devastating effects of climate change happening right in front of my eyes. Perfectly natural for there to be erosion of a riverbank by the river. But scientists are absolutely convinced that what's happening in Bangladesh is an increased rate of river erosion, partly or largely caused by an increasing melt in the Himalayas, in the mountains, from which this river has its source. I've lost everything. My cows, my goats, my trees, everything. I've only got my home left. Have you noticed the rate of erosion speeding up? Do people talk about the fact that the erosion is happening faster and faster? It's been happening for a long time. But now it's getting faster and it's coming closer. When we want to sleep, we can't, because we're scared by the noise of the land falling into the river. It sounds like shooting. Boom, boom. Scenes like this are now repeated on a daily basis across Bangladesh. Increased erosion makes 100,000 people homeless every year, turning them into environmental refugees. But this could be just the beginning of a climate catastrophe on a biblical scale. Even a small rise in sea levels would devastate millions here. 
We were heading in the same direction as many of the new environmental refugees, towards the capital, Dhaka.